Welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday the 31st of August 2021 and the moon in Gemini still moving into Cancer tomorrow. I find that quite challenging. It's a bit like the Pisces moon, but the Cancer moon, I don't know, I just get a little bit more kind of soppy with the Cancer moon and a real crying at adverts. <laughs> you know, that's just over a lipstick, that kind of thing. Anyhow, we came to the end of this and we're going to do the next one. Uh, some days we will, some days we won't. So it's his next one, 1,100 crazy fun and random facts. So these are about airports. For a 10 hour trip, a Boeing 747 uses 39,000 gallons of fuel on average. This means the plane needs a gallon for every second that it's in the air. Oh my God. Wow. Most foods don't taste too good on aeroplanes because when you fly, your taste buds along with your sense of smell is impacted. Now I have to say, um, I don't know if it's because I'm not very adventurous, but I've only flown, I think probably twice <laughs> I know, in my whole life. So I haven't had much experience of this. When in a pressurized cabin, your perception of sweetness and saltiness naturally reduces. In order to scare off birds, the Gloucestershire airport in England used to blast Tina Turner music. It was proved to work even better than blasting bird distress calls. I don't know what to say about that. The fastest aircraft made by humans is the SR-71, which flew over 4,000 missiles while it was in service. There you go. The next section is called Amazing. Amazing. Right then, I have gone into Smelly Tarot Box upstairs and dug out what, the vice versa. I was going to call it the Topsy Turvy Tarot. The vice versa tarot. What do we need to know? Vice versa tarot. Give it a shuffle, we'll have a big girl shuffle. That one wants to come out, as the actress said to the bishop. Ooh, that's a very nice card. one from the bottom as well I don't even have to say it okay nice I always have to check with these I do believe that is the knight of swords yes let me just check no he's the page that's the only thing about this deck that I find a bit tricky okay Page of Swords at the bottom, and remember with the Page of Swords, as with the Knight of Swords, there is something about information, and often I see it, and I think it was yesterday or the day before, we talked about um, kind of secondhand information, and where that's coming from, and something that affects you like that, okay? And it feels like there is something to do with that in this reading there is something to do with either rumors or the way a third party says something or um like if it was an office and we were talking about emails you've been copied into this email i haven't been copied in was it deliberate that kind of feeling okay over here we've got <clears throat> the ace of wands nice Ace of Wands, normally it's like creativity and ideas. So it might be about you having an idea and somebody else kind of appropriating it or telling you it's not very good when it is, like jealousy, all those things. But also there's a feeling here of you feeling quite flared up about something. You feeling like you want to take action about something when it probably isn't the best plan. The overall energy card I've got here is the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is a card of, it's not destruction, it's like a sense of completion, but also it's catharsis. 
So something about this situation takes everything out of the equation. Like It's like clearing out your emotional cupboard. You may find in the long term that whatever this slightly competitive edge is with somebody or slightly competitive relationship, that it won't be okay until you've actually really thrashed it out. And I don't think that's possible in the short term because this kind of energy is more of a sneaky spy energy um, with somebody feeling resentment but not saying anything. It's not the energy of getting it out there. That's what the Ten of Swords is saying, okay? But there is some kind of negative cycle about this. Up here, I've got the World card, which is always about cycles. And it feels like this is a recurring cycle. Do you remember we had judgment loads of times? It feels like this is something you've experienced before. And it could be with a different person, but it's like, oh, not this again. But for a lot of you, this may be with the same person. I've got my G mug, by the way. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Top of the reading, we've got the King of Wands. I like the King of Wands. It could represent a fire sign person in your life. But I think it also represents somebody with a very strong personality, somebody with a very strong character. And it may not be a good idea with someone like this, especially the other message that I get is that although their character appears larger than life, underneath it, I think they're hurting a bit or they're jealous a bit or they're feeling a bit inadequate. And sometimes when people like that are boxed into a corner, um, they don't react very well and it doesn't work well for anybody. So even though in this situation, let's say this was your boss or a colleague, um, even though in this situation, you're probably right, it's one of those, do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? And it doesn't mean that you take BS off anybody. It just means that your timing needs to be good for this. Because yeah, you could call this person out. And yes, you're right. But they'd be embarrassed. They're not going to be their best self. <clears throat> to be honest, are you going to be your best self? Is it going to feel that good to win? This, there's something in this situation that's more important than winning. Is there anything more important than winning? There is. And it feels like long-term harmony, long-term happiness. Over here, we've got, this is so nice, the Two of Cups, Venus in Cancer. Now, it can be a romantic relationship, so this may be to do with that, but also it can be, um, you know, an exchange of cups, warm, fuzzy feeling, friendship, all of those nice things. And over here, the first card that we pulled out is the Knight of Cups. Someone is going to offer that. You may find if you let this person simmer down or if you let them, you know, feel like they won this particular battle, you might win the war and it might be a lot more pleasant than you think, okay? If you take them on head on, I just get a feeling that it will just ignite it and you will both be sort of, I don't know. It depends what star sign you are. If you're a fire sign, maybe you want to take them on, you know? Um, because it would be fire to fire. So maybe you could do that. Oh yeah, but having said that, wisdom of the oracle, we get the observer. Now this is a foxy observation. We've got a fox who is looking with his telescope. This is about looking but not actually interfering. I think it reiterates the whole reading. It would probably be a good idea if you can to keep your, the lid on your tin of wukas, okay? Oh my God, that's so weird. These cards are amazing. I must find out what they're called. So these are Dorian Virtue's angel advice cards or something like that. Oh my God, they're so spot on. <laughs> Just in case you had any doubts, be willing to forgive. <laughs> Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So 
That might be you offering the olive branch. That might be you with your peace offering. It could be them, it could be you. It may be that you're dealing with someone who simply isn't capable of that kind of um, being the bigger person. If that's the case, you need to be the bigger person. Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.